hello everyone we will continue that topic in the previous video we learned how to create a include structure and how we inserted that include structure into our table order header table now i will come to these three points which we learned and now it's a time to understand it practically include it is a reusable structure what is the meaning of this term you created the include structure and you used in the first table means order header table it means it is a reusable structure suppose if i will go to my item table suppose this is my item table suppose in this table also i want delivery number and delivery date can i use the same structure here also yes i can use simply i will click suppose i will insert after all i will insert before order description edit include insert i will pass the same structure here also and you can see same to same columns our delivery number and delivery date are in our item table also so it means include is a reusable structure you will create only once and you can use it at several places now we'll go for second point we can insert the include structure at any point we will understand this point suppose i will go to order header table now in this case what we did we inserted our include structure after order date so if suppose requirement is i want delivery number and delivery date i'll say suppose after payment mode can i do the same yes i can do the same i'll simply suppose removing this include structure from here i will put my cursor on payment mode i'll put my cursor on total amount suppose because i want to now i want now delivery number and delivery date after payment mode so i'll put the cursor on total amount edit include insert if i am inserting and if i am displaying my particular uh, i'll just put the cursor again sorry i think i put at the wrong place i will delete this and i will insert again i'm activating my table first i'll put the cursor on total amount column before that i want delivery number and delivery date edit include insert and i put my structure and you can see previously our include structure was before payment mode now it is before total amount now if i am activating that table and i am displaying that table now you can see our delivery number and delivery date is after payment mode previously it was after order date so you can insert the include structure at any point at any point you can insert the include structure now we'll go for third point it is applicable to customer specific table and this point is already covered it is applicable to customer specific and we added the include structure and that table name starts with z 
it means it is applicable to customer specific table now we will see the vice versa is it possible in sap tables suppose i'll go for any sap table suppose vbak if i will go for include structure here and you can see include is disabled for sap tables in the next video i will go for whole explanation why include structure is not possible for sap table but just as of now you can never go for include in sap tables include structure is only only applicable for sap specific tables now we will move on to our next type of structure and our next type of structure is our append structure how to create a append structure now i will just make it what the requirement is i'll just firstly put my include structure at the desired location what was the requirement it was after order date now we will create a append structure how to create a append structure i will go to my table order header table and there is a option append structure i'll click on the append structure i will give some name to the append structure i will go for enter i will give some name to the append structure now what the exercise is you have to add delivery location to the table using append structure it means in our this append structure we have to take a column delivery location and what is the data element for delivery location what i created i'll pass that data element and this is the data element for delivery location enter i am activating my append structure and i will go to back button rest part of this structure we will continue in the next video thank you